Okay. I think we have enough folks here. Very good. Well, good to see you all again. Uh, sorry we couldn't have the all hands last week. Um, we were at the offsite. Uh, it was extremely uh, productive. And Daniel's going to be sharing updates later this week. Uh, with all the takeaways, all the action items, the highs and the lows. Great. So I guess before we get started, um, we'll do the intros. Uh, I think maybe Dimitri is the only new face here. Uh, let me see. Yeah. Jack, do you want to do, do a quick intro? Um, where is he? Let me see. Um, yeah, so uh, Dimitri has been um, in the DeFi system, uh, ecosystem for a little bit. And um, he wrote up a pretty interesting piece on how to increase uh, hypothesis about like, you know, how, what can we do to possibly increase the TVL of all DeFi ecosystems around Harmony. Um, so I'll, I'll let Dimitri introduce um, uh, himself a, a lot more than that. So, um, Dimitri, welcome. Thanks for having me. Yes, I'm excited to uh, uh, read all the puzzle pieces last week of what all the different initiatives are and then kind of figuring out where the DeFi holes are and then uh, tackling some uh, liquidity infrastructure, as I like to say. So, making it easier for tokens to move around the Harmony ecosystem um, and then make it uh, more attractive for new partners and new users to come on and uh, and really take advantage of what Harmony has to offer. Um, of course, that's a little broad initiative in the short term, I'll be working with Sam and the Dow team to work on some treasury management to hopefully increase their sustainability. I will work with uh, some NFT marketplaces with, with Boris and Brian. Uh, see where we can make some improvements there for user adoption and then uh, some ongoing relationships with some uh, central exchanges and potential central exchanges to uh, grow our ecosystem, grow our, our front, front door and uh, uh, so to speak, so our on-ramps. Uh, but excited to be here. Uh, thanks for having me and I'm excited to roll my sleeves up and get to work. <laughs> All right. Uh, just a little bit more. Uh, Dimitri came from a uh, helium background as well. So he's got exposure to that. Um, also holds a very interesting um, background with uh, nutrition. So um, so if you guys want to eat well or you know want to bounce some ideas off of you know what you're what you're doing with your food intake, you know, Dimitri's the guy to go to. Back to you, Gif. Yeah, welcome. Welcome, Dimitri. We are excited to have you. Uh, any other intros? I don't think so. OK. So let's get started. We'll do the usual. Let's take a look at our May deliverables. Um, OK. So it is the 16th, so we should kind of be halfway through the progress. So let's just work our way down. Uh, I know Leo's not around today. He's, he's uh, attending a conference in SF. Um, so let's, let's start with Lee. Okay, cool. So uh, one of the things I'll be doing this month, just getting started, is the Roadmap for Budgets Treasury Ecosystem Fund Custody. Uh, which means both the roadmap for the budget. I think we talked to, about the treasury at the offsite for all the people who were there attending. Um, for those who didn't get to go, there's a number of voice memos in Harmony Magnet channel that uh, you should definitely listen to and uh, ask your managers. Uh, I think all the managers, most of the managers were able to go and um, be able to present that roadmap for how we're going to continue to actually execute in this current market, um, but also be mindful about our resources, of course, 
Um, and uh, yeah, I, I would actually invite anybody here who has questions uh, about that to come message me individually, or um, obviously this wasn't the topic uh, that Give prompted, but of course we know what's happening in the market. So I would like to offer anybody on this team on this call the chance to come um, talk to me, whether it's just through Telegram or otherwise, and um, yeah, ask me any questions about, about this topic. So uh, other things, I will be um, following up with a couple of the offsite initiatives. Um, definitely want to help uh, work with Daniel probably Tuesday and Wednesday in the office. So one of the other things we talked about at the offsite is on Tuesdays, uh, some of the team will be meeting in the Bay Area uh, in the Palo Alto office, just kind of work together more closely. Uh, I, I think everyone really enjoys spending the time together as a team. And uh, I really appreciated it last week as well, uh, being with everyone there. And so um, we'll be doing that. And then uh, working with some of the ecosystem projects uh, on get, helping them achieve traction. Because I think the most important thing we can actually do right now is actually show progress and traction. And I'll be doing my part focusing on uh, actually just tweeting out, if people follow me on Twitter, uh, tweeting out uh, progress and traction for our ecosystem projects. Because the best thing I think we can do now is to actually show the traction that we have, both the core protocol team and uh, the ecosystem projects that we're supporting as well. So I think, yeah, that's that's for me for today. All right. Thank you, Lee. OK, uh, last time we didn't uh, get to all the contributors. I do want to skip through a few. Please don't take it personally. Uh, I just want to make sure we, we get better coverage. Um, Peter, I know you are uh, not at home. Are you able to talk about your deliverables? If not, no worries. Yeah, you might hear some uh, background noise, though. But um, yeah, I, I might have to uh, adjust mine based on um, since we were at the offsite last week. But my goal is still the same um, to close three studios and or uh, games that will be launching in the next 90 days um, and uh, going to work diligently towards towards that. OK, great. Um, let's see, let's let's skip through a few of these. Um, Adrian. Uh, thanks, Giv. Um, so we're going to shift uh, a little bit of our events. Uh, uh, how do you call it? Waiting of the of where we participate and we're going to try and, you know, for the first time ever really ex, uh, do like a conference. Um, last year we did a one day event. This year we're going to do a multiple day event. Um, and I already started as soon as the offsite was over, I started um, while the ideas were fresh, I started uh, a document on that and I should be done probably today, if not today, by tomorrow. Um, and that'll be live um, for critique and um, additional ideas. Anyone wants to add, I'm all ears. Uh, um, it's actually gonna be one of my biggest focuses for the rest of the year to make sure that that, make sure that the world knows that Harmony is, um, the only chain to build on, so, um, or the best chain to build on. Um, and uh, yeah. Great. Sounds good. Okay, uh, I'm just gonna move down here. Uh, let's see, Max. Hey, Gib. Um, so like, a, like the numbers say, I'm working on the block sync issue and the crosslink uh, stack issue. The crosslink is used for uh, handling rewards for uh, shard one, two, three. They send a message to shard zero. Uh, I'm profiling both of these right now as we speak. And uh, I'll be able to implement a fix once I have the results uh, as to why uh, these things are causing an issue. All right. Thank you. Uh, Kai, is he there? You're probably not here. He's in Malaysia. He's okay. 
midnight. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's late there. Okay, let's go Z. Uh, yes, yeah, so one wallet, just status update. We're still going to do the review process. Fifth round of the process was the Apple App Store. Um, they had some questions regarding our integration with SushiSwap. So that's where things are. Um, it turns out Apple has been really stepping up in terms of the approval process for any wallet, whether custodial or non-custodial. That's where we are. Code base is ready. Um, and then on top of that, um, I'll take it separately offline. Um, the RPC, um, the nodes that Aaron has been running uh, has been down for the past couple of days. That also make the entire review process a little bit more complicated. So what that means, we'll probably have a separate kind of fail-safe mechanism. So that's one wallet go to market, uh, app store launch basically. Everything else in terms of the other kind of uh, initiatives, those are all kind of uh, going according to plan, meaning the ambassador program, the pay media, those are actually all in trending green. Social NFT, uh, as some of you may have uh, heard in person, uh, join the offsite is proceeding as according to plan. Uh, we're trying to launch some kind of a proof of concept by NFT.NYC in New York, middle of June. Uh, in terms of open source, it has been open source as of May 4th. So that's actually already completed. So those are the three major initiatives for one wallet. Okay, thanks. Uh, just a, a, a clarification there. The RPC has not been down. It's been the one wallet relayer that's been down. That's exactly it. That's what I meant. Yeah. Right, exactly. right. <laughs> okay. Yep. All right. Um, Victor. Hey guys, I'm just going through the Explorer APIs and mapping the um, the EtherScan APIs to our existing Explorer. Uh, for the Explorer proxy issue, I'm just working through that now. Uh, a lot of testing that has to be done for that, so we, I don't bring down the indexer. Um, and Gnosis Safe, um, we're working with a partner, but they've kind of put it on hold. Um, so I'm going back to trying to get it working on my machine and just seeing if I can deploy it somewhere. Great. Thank you, Victor. Uh, let's see, who else can we talk here? Uh, Devin. Yeah, so uh, Dow Day of the One Conference, uh, just a, uh, working with Adrian, um, haven't gotten the deck over to him, but it's essentially the ideas from the Dow operations team on how we're going to uh, integrate ideas surrounding what uh, we're interested in doing. It's not necessarily a day, but just calling it that for now. Um, Opolis integration, uh, this is getting the team uh, you know, S corp filing. So uh, obviously, with Opolis, you are your own entity. Uh, you have to create an LLC. Uh, this is for American um, citizens only at this time. Uh, but getting that worked out and getting uh, subgraph stuff uh, coordinated so that they can properly integrate uh, on Harmony, and we don't have to use the Ethereum blockchain uh, to utilize the service. Uh, and then the last is getting 15 unique DAO signatories uh, to use the uh, to come to the one DAO alliance calls uh, that we are starting up. So the one DAO alliance is um, very important infrastructure uh, with regard to information feedback loops, making sure everyone understands what's going on in the ecosystem, uh, and just uh, yeah, it's a really powerful tool that was devised by the community. So um, those are my three. All right, thank you, Devin. Uh, let's see, Bruce. Yes, hello. Um, I don't have, uh, it seems I don't have permission to change my percentages there. I'll, but, um, I'll invite you. <laughs> awesome. Uh, thanks. Yeah, um, all those are going good. Uh, Canonical light chain is, um, you know, 90% uh, essentially codes they're working, got some custom stuff in there to test it. Arbitrary message passing also going pretty well. A uh, couple minor changes and I'm going to have to um, do some interesting stuff to get the test cases go, going over it. But uh, I think the design, um, was looking good at this point. Uh, put that at like 55. Um, and then specifications for the ETH bridge. Um, yeah, the design's been looking good. I've uh, been able to read over a lot of documents, haven't found um, too many um, like flaws in anything. So um, yeah, I'd uh, put that at uh, about 50 as well. Excellent. Thank you, Bruce. Yeah. All right. Let's see some of the new folks. Jeremy. I, um, I will get my links added in. I also uh, could not edit. I had to call Daniel before this uh, to make sure we got uh, those percentages updated, um, but I'll make sure to get links added to all these as we're working through these. Um, for the co-marketing pipeline, we've kind of been running alongside uh, the one weekly team. So working on getting, uh, while sprinting, um, getting a 
good draft together of what the regular strategy is um, for going forward. Um, so we saw some of that with DeFira um, in our chats internally, um, as well as a couple of the teams that we've been able to highlight so far. I think we're at nine, 10 um, ecosystem project highlights. Um, the overall sentiment has been super positive. So hoping to deliver a full written um, recap of that for us to work on um, by the end of this week. So goal is to have that out by the 20th. Um, ecosystem partner report, um, looking at a high level overview of that one already done um, in draft. So I have that one ready to upload here. Um, really just looking for some insights and kind of narrow that down um, to see where we can better help our partners that are on chain already. Um, and then match five teams with venture investors. Um, we're working already. Um, Jack introduced um, Evo as a potential partner who we'd been working closely with, um, as well as Mad. I uh, know Devin and I have a call with them here in about 45 minutes um, to go over that. So we, we put that at 45 um, as two, I think, really strong candidates for the accelerator program. Um, and we're also working on a couple others um, that I'll be managing that relationship with as well. Awesome. Thank you, Jeremy. Uh, all right, Mohammed. Oh, hey. Um, yeah, my focus um, in the last two weeks has been on um, the AWS cost optimization. That's something that I'm trying to one do some steps to get the AWS bill and digital ocean down, but also put in place some strategies and um, continuous basically improvements to how we provision infrastructure and uh, how we utilize it. Um, with the help of Jack, we've uh, set now a weekly meeting where we discuss pricing and existing infrastructure and how to optimize further. Um, and in terms of the on-call readiness, I expect this to ramp up really quickly towards the end of the month because we have four training sessions with SOF at the end. And I might start or swap the last point with something, some, probably something else. Um, yeah. Okay. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, to hear. Hello. So I had been mainly focusing on the uh, on understanding the Harmony ecosystem, uh, specifically to DevOps related, so I can take load from Sof and Leo. And on the other task, which is migration to Cloudflare DNS, this is also I'm I'm working on it and will be implemented in the, in this week or the coming week because it's quite a risky task. So that's why I'll be uh, working along with Sof on this. After that, then I'll uh, investigate the uh, RDS issue. So that's all from my end. Great. Thank you. Uh, I don't think Diego is here. Uh, let's invite him. Okay, moving down to halftime contributors. Rachel. Hi, everybody. Okay, um, so uh, after the offsite, uh, a couple of things became clear to me regarding my deliverables. Um, also, I was brought up to a full time fellow at the offsite, um, just to give you guys an update on that. Um, so my deliverables, the first one is the ambassador DAO migration. Um, now after the offsite, um, I made some adjustments to my deliverables and it became clear after talking to many core team members um, that they would like us to take the ambassador DAO into the ambassador program. So I will be working more closely with ESSA and we have a meeting today to discuss the steps moving forward on that. Um, I've also posted um, an update on the Ambassador DAO talk forum post um, showing different events that we've had and you know the successes that we've had, uh, attendees, the social media engagement and posts and pictures and documentation from the event. Um, my second um, deliverable is um, onboarding the Opolis DAO tool. Um, I'd say we're at 50% for that, like Devin mentioned. Um, they've given us an update recently and said that um, the subgraph integration is in the beta testing phase. So uh, I'd say we're 50% done with that. Um, I've also written a go-to-market strategy for Opolis, um, and we want to publish a DAO tooling training webinar for them and also potentially incentivize DAOs to use Opolis uh, because it's such an impactful tool. 
Um, and then that leads into the last um, deliverable of mine, which is publishing the top five impact Dow tooling training webinars. Um, two out of five have already been recorded. Uh, Dow Lens and DoDow, um, we've recorded their training webinars. We have one scheduled with Wonderverse for the end of the month. Um, and then also we'd like to do Opolis and Coordinate. Um, so two out of five recorded, one is scheduled, um, two more to schedule. And that's it for my deliverables. All right. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, Mikey. Hello. Um, so first up is going to be uh, what I'm calling just right now the project X and Y structure. Um, I'm sure most people in here on this call have given out several different project uh, X or Y grants. Um, and uh, I want to make sure that I, I need, there needs to be a place where not only the community, but we can go see what's going on. And not just for this accountability and reporting that I have here, but also we should be excited to deliver updates to the community about what they're doing. And there's not really any, any place like that as of right now. So I'm gonna work with um, everybody individually to make them 10% better in that regard. Um, the next step is um, uh, Dow funding pipeline to review equals zero. Um, I've said that I said this before. This the pipeline is getting better and better and better, um, and this, this is a very important aspect of uh, the grant process is making sure that things are updated. And then finally, just the um, the Dow directory, a, a sort of landing page where people can come and onboard to Dow's, or they can at least see the top 10 DAOs uh, that are on Harmony that they can join and contribute to. Thank you, Mikey. Uh, PJ is not here. Hal. Hello, everyone. So this uh, deliverable needs to be updated. I just didn't have edit access, but I'll get that done today. So then I can actually put in the numbers. Um, meeting with investors for our Harmony Venture Network. So I met some missionaries this week. Um, it's coming for different VCs and um, also talking about different projects that Harmony also offers. And um, identifying partnerships, you know, future partnerships that's possible for uh, with Harmony uh, within the Harmony Venture Network. And then lastly, it's the, um, the grant process really for investments and creating a proper roadmap for our investments uh, within the grant system. So uh, revamping that and bettering the process within the, the grant ops. So those are my three and I'll get those numbers updated today. Thank you, Al. Okay, let's work our way down. Uh, Kelly is not here, Juan is not here. Uh, is Matt here? Matthew? Yeah, I'm here. Hey, Matthew. Hey, how's it going? Uh, so we are continuing to deliver our one weekly uh, newsletter every week. So we're at 50%, two out of four there. Uh, we're including in those weeklies is our project highlights. So last week we had three of them. So we'll be hitting eight throughout the, the month, which is awesome. And then we'll be getting some team interviews coming in over the next few weeks. So over the next two or three weeks, we'll have our articles with all of our content and interviews, and we'll be good to go. Great, thanks, Matthew. Mm -hmm. uh, Amanda. Hi there. Um, so my numbers are sitting at 80, 40, 40. I can't edit them, sorry. But so I'm working on the events venue guidelines, which is essentially the travel expense policy as well as um, event expectations. Um, both of those documents will be updated and I encourage people who travel for events to um, go over those once published to review the updates we've made. And then um, Rob and I are working on these HR onboarding videos that I think are gonna be really beneficial tool for everyone, even people who are already in the Harmony ecosystem to review those to ensure that everything is cohesive and profiles are complete to the standard that we want them to be. Thanks. Thank you, Amanda. Okay, let's see, who else do we have here? Um, 
uh, no, Rob's not here, Adam's not here, Evan's not here, so she flew. Uh, Dimitri, your first update. Yes, so I've initiated marketing relations with an upcoming exchange. So we're, we're uh, synchronizing our, our message for a, a joint marketing strategy. And I have a meeting with Brian later today about uh, NFT DAO marketplace um, improvements and, and kind of his initial research. And uh, I'm actually on the side on this call, I'm crafting a DAO treasury uh, management strategy. So I'm starting with their current capabilities and then I'm working my way out to uh, current solutions on, on Harmony where they can uh, make those assets a little bit more useful. And then if needed, uh, looking at bridging, of course, uh, considering gas, uh, gas costs and effectiveness. But this is, uh, yeah, for day seven, that is where I'm at. Very good. Thank you, Dimitri. Okay, let's see, who else do we have here? Uh, do, 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 Kyla. Hi, um, so what I've been working on for the month of May, I just got new deliverables this morning due to some of the updates after the up offsite. Currently, I've created a sponsorship package for NFT NYC and future events to help with operations costs. Um, that way we could offload some of these expenses for events and venues that we rent out. Amanda and Nora are helping out with that as well. Uh, we're working on restructuring ECC's vision um, after today's update on scaling back. Um, and last week, I was getting um, TGI locked down for both NFT NYC and ECC with Alan Garrick, scouting for venues for ECC Harmony Hub, which is now currently on hold. Um, I've also been familiarizing myself with Harmony so that I'm better able to answer questions and, and do my job better. Um, I've submitted a proposal for Ambassador Zhao as well, if you guys can check that out. Um, I think it'll bring value to Harmony long-term. Uh, for the first event of April, we had over 113 RSVP and four on the wait list, over 62 attendees. And for this, uh, for the event on Wednesday that I'm doing, we currently have 81 RSVP 12 on the wait list. Um, so I created a proposal for Harmony, for a Harmony Hub here in LA, a regular monthly meetup with minimal costs. Um, I really believe that these smaller events can make a significant dent in the like crypto space in Los Angeles. Um, and it would get, give us repeat exposure, offer a place for keynote speakers and updates um, for the community, for our new features, recruitment, we can recruit talent um, and educate beginners all the way up to OGs on the Harmony ecosystem. So if you guys could really look, um, look over that, that would, help out a lot. I know Essa and Rachel are um, working on that right now, but so that's my update. I just want to add to uh, Kayla did a phenomenal job uh, for her April Ambassador DAO event. So um, congrats, Kayla. I think you guys had something like 80, um, 80 attendees, right? Um, we So the, the link for the um, sign up was a little bit glitchy so we weren't able to get an exact number but it was around like 60 to somewhere 80 ish very good thank you um okay let's uh, move down to juan hello everyone um the very first is the are the grants we are reviewing and filtering and follow up all of the grants, we are uh, up to date right now, and we are continue following and uh, replying, asking, and pushing forward all the projects that are coming to Harmony, which, is, which are a lot. We are really proud of it. And the second one, which is ETH Barcelona, we are defining the new information collection plan for the event that will happen this year too. And uh, the third one was this historic and depth note, uh, we had two meetings, each of one of each of them, about um, validators, how, how we can onboard uh, faster 
and uh, easier uh, validators in the ecosystem. The second one would be pretty much like 10 or 15%, which is zero right now, but I don't have any rights. So I really appreciate it. Thank you, Gabe. Okay. All right. Um, any, I, I know I, I skipped over a bunch of core team members. Anyone have any updates they want to share? that we didn't discuss today. Yeah, hey, uh, the, this is Tom. Hey, Tom. So about the, yeah, about the Tuesday working is not mandatory. So I want to make it clear. So it's a volunteer base. So it, it's not, uh, it's not a man, uh, mandatory. Okay. Uh, yeah, so face-to-face, -face, you have some advantages, but I know, I understand some uh, team members, they live far away. The traffic, the, the, yeah, if you drive it back and forth three, four hours, it's not worth it. Yeah. So I want to make it clear it's not mandatory. So if you uh, want it, you just uh, welcome to come back. It's not voluntary. Okay. It's not, it's not mandatory. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks, Tom. Okay. Uh, so I think that's Actually, it for the. <clears throat> oh, sorry. Go on, Daniel. No, no, it's okay. Just want to mention really quick that. Um, uh, just to kind of reiterate something that you mentioned at the beginning of the call that uh, we will have an official write up on the offsite, um, all the takeaways and action items um, as a result of all the productive conversations that, that we had. Um, while there, that will be released by Friday. Um, a high level, very brief um, update was sent out to the community. Uh, if anyone's watching this and you may have missed it, you can find it on the talk forum, talk.harmony.one. Um, we also uh, linked it to, uh, sorry, we also uh, 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 uploaded a, uh, or posted a copy of that to the Harmony subreddit. Um, and a link to the talk forum was also pinned to Discord and Telegram. So uh, find it if you haven't seen it and we'll have a more detailed write up uh, in just a few days. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, Lee, was there anything else on this uh, page you wanted to discuss? Just a reminder that everyone should be updating this. Still a lot of percentages. So a helpful guide is today's the 16th of the month. So you should be at 160% total added up of all three items. One thing um, we, we've been sending out, uh, if you're below expectation on your items, you will get a notification and email. So uh, don't be surprised. If, you, if you're having trouble updating the percentages, reach out to your managers. It, it shouldn't be something that happens at the end of the month where you're surprised why you're getting an email or a ping from one, your manager or even from Give or me. So um, please do update this document. And there's quite, I, I would, I, obviously we're not gonna do this on this call, but there's a lot of uh, missing items that everyone needs to fill in. Follow the guideline. There's still many people who um, are not following the guideline, even at the bottom of this page. Okay. Yeah. Thanks Lee. Any other updates, general updates, announcements, questions? Yeah, um, one thing. So our Dow operations team is having an open call tomorrow at 9.15 a.m. PST. Um, if anybody's watching this that wants to join, if you're a signatory on a Dow, um, go ahead and send me your email and we'll get you an invite to that. Um, and you can see my pin tweet on Twitter um, and my Twitter handle is Rachel B. Harmony. Go ahead and DM your email and we'll get you an invite to the call. Thank you, Rachel. Anyone else? A uh, quick update, a uh, number of contributors and myself are at a missionless conference, despite uh, what happened to the e entire ecosystem uh, last week. Um, we are, we're opening up you know, office hours so that you know, people could visit and talk about uh, matters around um, learnings on layer one and layer two, and also understanding what kind of collaborations that we can do uh, between different chains um, so, so right now, actually, there are two chains that are, we are talking to, at least, to be possibly working together to better the ecosystem together. 
So I think there are advantages in strength in numbers, um, especially in trying to restore the confidence in uh, builders, investors, uh, anybody else that's surrounding the ecosystem um, to be able to you know, build up together. I, I'll keep it a little vague because once there's more details, um, I'm gonna include the details there in, in the made little posts and also with announcements. All right, thank you, Jack. What else? Actually, Kiv, I'll, I'll say one more thing. Mm -hmm. So I think we set this uh, at the offsite. Peter and I um, really shared a little bit more about some of us having gone through uh, probably three market cycles now in the last four years in crypto. Um, but also, I just want to share that uh, in 2008, during the, you know, the normal economy financial crisis during 2008, I was actually an intern at Goldman Sachs that uh, in September 2008, we saw Lehman Brothers fail. And when that happened, because all the banks had the same underlying assets that they were holding, which were mortgages at the time, right? Home mortgages um, in the US, around the world. And once one bank you know, failed, there was a lot of other risks spread throughout the entire financial system. And actually, I think with... Um, what happened last week with Terra and Luna, that it ironically, it stayed on it on its own chain, right? It hasn't, it actually is not cascading to other blockchains, technically speaking. Obviously, it's not great for the market as a whole. And, um, but I just actually want to share that perspective, like that, um, if anybody who has, whether you live through the 2008 financial crisis or not, uh, that was probably on a much larger scale for the whole economy than this. So uh, just know that we've been through this before. As I said, some of us have lived through this before. If this is your first time, uh, whether it's in crypto or just the economy, you know, we have, we have people here on this team who are 20 somethings, early twenties. This might be your first actually job out of college, first major job out of college. That's okay. So uh, just to reiterate what I said at the beginning of the call, right? Anybody who wants to reach out to me or to your manager, please do so. Uh, I will always be here to support anyone here on this team. Um, so yeah, let me know. I just realized some folks on this call were still in elementary school during that crisis. Yeah, it's which yeah. frightens me. <laughs> we, ha we have a huge spectrum <laughs> of uh, perspectives and time and personal situations. So um, really, really, it's okay that we, we're here to uh, help everyone and support everyone. Okay, anything else? Okay, um, I'm gonna send you to your breakout rooms. Have a great week, everyone. <laughs>